Hello friends, welcome all. So today we will backtest and see GBPUSD Forex pair on 3 minutes time frame intraday scalping. So I have rewinded the week, we, are, we will backtest the last week and see the results, how the results were favorable and how the strategy performed. So I have rewinded it. So I will just run over the whole week and we will see how the strategies were executed, how the trade placement were placed and I have already done the backtest. So as you can see, I will just run over and show you. So as a rule, we won't trade within the cloud. So we will wait for the right signal. So here we had a breakdown, but the trade candle failed to form. So that trade was invalidated. So we will wait for the right trade placement and right as per the rules. So we have a breakout. So that's a signal candle. Sorry, this was the signal candle. So and we have the trade candle closing right above the signal candle high. So we place a stop limit order. Stop loss right below the signal candle low. And one is to two ratio. I'll just show you. So let's see. So we had a momentum, but initially it got failed and we hot hot stops hit. So we will wait for the next signal. So we had a signal candle here. You can see it. You have either had a trade candle also. Just placing, if you place a stop limit short below it, it didn't trigger. So I have I have not placed that trade. So that's not a tradable signal. That trade got invalidated. Let's move on. So here, yeah. here again we had a breakout signal candle. We will wait for the trade candle. So we have a trade candle. We place a stop limit long, targeting one is to two ratio below this stop loss below the signal candle low. Let's see. Target hit. We had 80 points. So let's move on. So again, we had a breakout, that's a signal candle, and that's a trade candle, we short limit long, stop loss below the signal candle low, targeting one is to two risk reward, and let's see what happens. So this one stop hit. So we had three trades in that two wins, one lost, let's move on. So again, we had a signal candle because this was a low, so we after the break of the low is the signal candle, so we wait for the trade candle. So trade candle didn't form, so we wait for a new signal candle. So we are in between the clouds, so we won't trade when the price is in between the clouds. So I'll just fast forward it. So there was no actionable setups. So right here we got, we are above the high, in the previous high. That's a signal candle. We'll wait for the setup to complete. So we had a $80 profit, 80 points. So we wait for the next signal. So there are no actionable signals. If you see here, we close below it, but trade candle failed to form. So that trades got invalidated. So this way we can filter out the bad signals. Day one of the week is concluded and we will see the results before starting to next day. We had four trades in total, which has two wins and two losses. Some total picks gained for the day is 70 pips. Great, let's move on to day two. So this trade placement is very crucial. With our rules, we just skip this chops which many people fail in that so again we have a signal candle place the stop limit long below the trade candle so so we got a sharp hit on our targets again we had a strong signal candle followed by a trade candle placing a stop limit long stop loss below the trade candle target hit let's move on so here we go that's a signal candle that's a trade candle placing us Stop limit short over here. Stop loss above signal candle high. Targeting 1 is to 2 ratio. Let's see how it performs. There you go. Target hit. Let's move on to the next signal. You had a breakout. How could I miss this? We had a breakout. We have a... Sorry. That's, that's not a valid signal because we are red in our green stochastic. So we will skip that signal candle. We had a valid signal candle, trade candle. So that trade didn't trigger. So I have not taken that into consideration. So again, we had a breakout. So this is a signal candle. You can see this line. Signal candle, trade candle, stop limit long, stop loss, and target. Let's see what happens. Target hit. 220 pips. Let's see. So again, breakout, signal candle, trade candle, stop limit long, stop loss below the signal candle low, targeting one is to two risk reward. Okay, we had a four, 400 pips profit in this one.
so you can see price broke out then the trade candle didn't form so that trade was invalidated so again we got a new signal candle here we'll wait for any trade candle so there we go we have a trade candle maybe that didn't trigger only as the volatility increases the stop loss and targets will also increase guys that trade didn't trigger so that's why we have not calculated that so that way i have calculated the every moves here we go we had a small scalp so we had a signal candle trade candle close below the signal candle low stop limit long so stop loss above the signal candle high let's see we had a stop loss hit on that one we'll move forward signal candle trade candle stop limit short so we had minus 60 pips on this one again so here you can see we had a breakout signal candle trade candle stop limit long stop loss below signal candle high low and targeting one is to two risk reward target hit two of the week is concluded and we will see the results before starting to next day we had a wonderful trading today total eight trades in which six wins and two losses some total pips gained for the day is 960 pips which is for sure huge you may now have witnessed the productivity and functionality of the Martin strategy all in one toolkit. Great, let's move on to day three. So there was no valid signal here. If you see signal candle, trade candle did not trigger within three candles. So this way you will be able to avoid the traps placed by the institutions to take your stops out, to force you in a trade. So this would avoid FOMO in you. So again, we had a trade signal candle, replace those short, stop less hit the move on again we had a trade signal candle trade candle but the trade didn't trigger leading to avoid the false breakout again we had a breakdown signal candle trade candle stop limit long boom so you see how cleanly you have caught the downside momentum so we had a fit 400 points let's see for next signal Again, we had a breakdown, signal candle, trade candle, stop limit short, stop loss above signal candle high, one is to two risk reward. So we had a stop loss hit. We move on. No trades when the price is within the cloud. Signal candle, trade candle, short limit long. Target hit, 51, 51 pips. So no signal candle because we are not yet read on our stochastic trend, not in stochastic trend. So we are below the previous swing high, so no trades below that. Because we want to catch momentum and fast moves that will happen only when the price breaches day high or day low. So we have a signal candle, we have a trade candle. What happens next? That trade didn't trigger because the price never crossed the trade candle's high. So we'll wait. Signal candle, trade candle, short limit long. Stop hit. Signal candle, trade candle, but that it didn't, didn't trigger. Moving forward. Signal candle, trade candle, stop limit long. Because we closed right above the cloud resistance. We broke out and closed above it. So that makes it a valid signal candle. So the market just chopped sideways. We went, but we failed to hit our target. Stop hit, minus 100 pips. Day three of the week is concluded and we will see the results before starting to next day. We had a decent trading today, total 6 trades in which 2 wins and 4 losses. Some total pips gained for the day is 260 pips. You may now have witnessed the risk management designed in the Martin strategy all in one toolkit where you had 4 losses and 2 wins, but the strategy ended up in profits. Great, let's move on to day 4. So price is within the cloud, we won't trade. Again, signal candle, no trade candle. We have a signal again here, signal candle, trade candle, stop limit short, stop loss above the high of the signal candle. Let's see, stop hit, move on. Again, we broke out signal candle, trade candle, stop limit long, stop loss, target. Let's see what happens, target hit. Let's move on. So again, no proper signals here. If you take this signal candle, that's such a trade candle. I mean, that was invalidated. Again, 
सिग्नल कैंडल ट्रेड कैंडल स्टॉप लिमिट लॉन्ग टारगेट है थ्री सिक्सटी पिप्स इंडियन मार्केट जस्ट मूविंग साइड वेज आई एम जस्ट मूविंग फास्ट बिकॉज यू कैन क्लियरली सी द प्राइज इज नेवर क्रॉस द हाई सो अगेन वी हैव अ शॉर्ट सिग्नल कैंडल ट्रेड कैंडल लेट सी इट नेवर ट्रिगर day 4 of the week is concluded and we will see the results before starting to next day we had a easy trading today total 3 trades in which 2 wins and 1 loss some total pips gained for the day is 510 pips you may now have witnessed the trade placement system designed in the martin strategy all in one toolkit where you entered at the right trade at right time great let's move on to day 5 then prices within the cloud not trades for seeing we have crossed the high so that's a whole long so irrelevant we will see only few candles before so that was a high breakout trade candle signal candle trade candle stop limit long target hit reversing from there gain we broke the low so see this was the low signal candle trade candle stop limit short stop loss hit let's move on So here we had a breakdown signal candle trade candle stop limit short target hit 270 points So if you see we don't have any short signals here because the Martin trend meter it's two red and one green so all these shorts I have not taken into consideration as the proof of the strategy Again here we have a breakdown signal candle trade candle Stop hit. Day four of the week is concluded, and we will see the results of last day of the week and conclude the back test. We had a choppy day today. Total four trades in which two wins and two losses. Some total pips gained for the day is two hundred and twenty pips. You may now have witnessed the power of combos used in Martin strategy, which helps US to sustain when the market is choppy and gives US trades when the market trends. Great. We will conclude the back test and journal the trades and calculate. Here we go. These are the results. Total gross pips earned is 2020 pips in 5 trading days. Which in itself shows and proves the Martin strategy all in one toolkit successful. This 5 trading days we had trendy days, choppy days, stop hunt days, but the Martin indicators sustained all and gave us a clear picture when and where to enter and exit. Martin strategy's risk management gives us advantage by instilling confidence and discipline and prevents us from undecided trades and FOMO. Martin strategy provides a set of rules and guidelines that help you make clear and objective decisions. Martin strategy controls our emotions and kills various emotions such as fear, greed, and impatience. Martin strategy is adaptable to changing market conditions. It has the provisions for adjusting entry and exit levels based on new information or evolving market dynamics. Thank you for watching. We will conclude the video and make sure you subscribe and follow us to see more videos about the strategy. We will be posting backtest videos on various assets shortly.